billiards.com.au more than just billiards come to our online store for great value oh hi there my name's edward charlton I've come along here today to show you how to dress a billiard table which is to basically give it a clean up and get it prepared to play on. now there are two kinds of cloth that the average people will have in their homes one will be a what we call a directional napped cloth and the other will be napless now with a directional nap cloth you will need to work out for yourself which way the nap runs. Now on most English style billiard tables or home snooker tables you find that it will run from the, the fork or the D end of the table towards the black end or from where the name plate on the table is again to the opposite end. Very simple test though, just put your hand gently on the cloth, it will run smooth with the nap and it will slightly prickle going against it. Now I suggest you do that as a final test just to satisfy yourself that that's what's, which way the nap runs. You can also then just test the edge of the cushions to make sure that you're going to be travelling in the correct direction of the nap when it's put onto the cushions by the billiard table fitter. Now we have some items here that are going to give you an opportunity to be able to clean your table properly. You can see there's an array of brushes. Most of them will have some form of brush system that will be able to allow you to get into most facets of the billiard table. Now what we'll quickly do is we're just going to select one in a second um, and then give it a quick sweep down. The other thing we're going to have to do, on occasions you probably find yourself wanting to remark the table. Now there are different things you can purchase for that. There's some, some simple home things for your home, uh, you'll have at home to be able to do. A uh, simple ruler, uh, and a, and an indelible pen, and a simple washer will actually get you started. Or you can buy proper spots if you want to put it on to help protect your table. And Right, now there are a number of brushes that uh, are designed specifically for billiard tables because you have little areas underneath the cushions and things like that you need to get to. So simple brushes like this will allow you to get underneath the cushion lines. Same with the ends on these particular ones before you brush the flat end of the table. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Uh, preferably you'll get one with reasonably good flexible bristle to it uh, and a bit thicker than some of the thinner ones, that's about it. All right, now we're, we're ready to uh, initially brush the table down, as we call it. Keep in mind you've got your directional map on a lot of tables. Uh, the cloth also on the cushion runs in a direction, so you use the extended part of the brush to get underneath that cushion line. So just gently sweep, you don't have to do it hard, just sweep any dust that may be sitting there across, underneath, through your pockets to your floor, then you can get someone to vacuum your floor for you. But, I wouldn't suggest necessarily vacuuming the table. I think it's a little bit strong. If there is any dust under the cloth, between the cloth and the slate, it might clump up underneath and cause more problems than it's worth. So I wouldn't necessarily do that. So when you've done across there, you're now going to brush in the direction of the bed cloth. We know it runs this way. Again, just sweep underneath that to move any dust down the table. Then in nice, straight, even sweeps, just work your way across the table and down at the same time. So you'll find there's a little bit of excess dust on your cloth, you will form a line of that as you work your way down the table. Keep it going evenly. Try not to flick your brush up like that. As you can imagine, that dust will float and resettle. So by keeping it steady, there's nothing overly technical about this, but to end up with a nice job, keep doing it straight. Bring that extended brush hair down the line. And then when you come to the end, your cushion cloth will go across. Just bring it through underneath the cushion line, again through your pocket to the floor. Then give your pocket a bit of a shake to get excess dust out. That's as simple as it is to brush. I'll just give you a couple of more little tips in a second to keep it cleaner than the average table. Right, now just to give your table a nice little finish, uh, a good suggestion my father, late Eddie Charlton, former World Match Play Snooker Champion, told me once to do, just get one of your old tea towels from your kitchen or something, and a good clean one, not one that's dirty. Put it under the water, get a bit of water, and then wring it right out to all that excess water's gone until it's just damp only. Now this is going to help you pick up any excess dust that may be still sitting on the cloth that may have floated a bit and resettled. Also your cushions. Now by putting it on the, around the cloth of the cushion and the cushion timber itself, walking with the direction of the nap, what you're going to do is twofold. Firstly, you're going to pick up that excess dust. Secondly, you're going to lay that nap of the cloth down. So then you go around this way and down the rest of the table. To finish off the bed cloth, you can just lay it out 
put your, the brush of your, or the timber of your brush down, wrap it round, and where it's nice and solid, again, put it on the bed, and just walk down with it like that. And what that does, again, excess dust up, helps to lay the nap down flat, and pulls it straight. So that will get it probably as, as tidy as you can possibly get your home tape. Well, now that you've, you've brushed your table and you've, you've patted it down to get any excess dust away, uh, you may wish to remark it. I would suggest you, uh, you could brush your table as often as you use it. So prior to using it, uh, take the table cover off, give it a good brush and pad down, play your games, put the cover in. That's what I suggest for good maintenance of your table. Your marking of your lines and the spots are a little bit different. On an English style table, you've got a D, you've possibly got a bork line, you've got some spots and things like that which you can mark onto your cloth. Now they will fade out from varying reasons. The brushing of the table, the hands rubbing over and balls fading from possible light and things like that. So all you need to do uh, is, to, is to remark it maybe once every couple of months. Now what I suggest, you could just grab a normal timber ruler from your uh, student's desk or something or your office and you can just drill a couple of holes in to match the diameter of the D for a snooker table. So all you'd have to do is just simply put it down with your pen, mark a couple of dots on there to correspond with the radius of the, of the D, simple drill, two holes in it, and you're ready to go. Just get a small pointed uh, item like a screw or something, just have the needle point come through fractionally, that just goes simply onto uh, the middle of the, of the, of the brown spot, that hole should line up, plonk the indelible pen on and just take your time, don't try and rush it, come round the corner like this, all the way around and you find you've got your D done. It's as simple as that. When the time comes to do your, the rest of the bork line, just use your ruler as you would, put on the straight line, go straight across. Now if you have the extended bork line, just continue it across both sides. Now, when the time comes to what you want to do the spots, look, I'd suggest just something as simple as, a, as just a washer. Put it over the, over the spot that you've got, just hold it firmly with your fingers, use the point of the nib and just colour in around there fully and you'll find you've got a nice circle. Simple as that. 